Okay. So hopefully you have already done the decimal practice like I've asked you to do, right? I hope you better have. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in because it's kind of small. All right, so today in our instructional video, we were talking about sales tax, that nasty stuff that you got to pay when you're buying stuff at the store. Wouldn't it be nice that when the price said $2.99, it meant $2.99? That would be nice, yes, yeah, but it does. So, we started talking about sales tax. Get my little pointer back. All right, so sales tax is a percentage charged on goods or merchandise. Okay. Taxes are used to fund various state and local government agencies and provide services to residents, okay? So, some of those taxes go to our school, okay? That's how you're getting breakfast in the mornings, and that's how you're getting lunches and and stuff like that. So. Some of the, that, those taxes that we're paying are actually coming back to us, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. So now, we're going to fill out some of these together. When you go in a minute to your Go Formative, <clears throat> sorry, to your Go Formative um, paper, your assignment, you'll need to fill this out in there. Um, so this part you better get right because we're going to do it together. So if you don't do this with me, then you're going to get ones wrong that you should not be getting wrong. And that, my friends, is your own fault. Okay. So when we are looking at sales tax, remember, you take whatever the price is and you multiply it by the sales tax. Now, here's why you're supposed to work on your uh, percents to decimals first. Because we don't multiply it by eight. We multiply it by the decimal that represents that 8%. Well, the decimal that represents that 8%, where did it go? Is 0 0.08. So we're going to multiply 8.50 times 0 0.08. So we're going to do $18.50 times 0 0.08. And that's going to give us how much tax we have to pay. Okay? So when you're doing that, don't forget about your rules with decimals. How many decimals, how many digits are past the decimals? We've got two for the first number and we've got two for the second. So that's four total. So when you're doing all your math, make sure you move your decimal four places at the end. Okay? So my tax is $1.48. Okay. So now to get the total, we're going to take that $18.50 and we're going to add that $148. And that is going to give us our total price, which in this case, and don't forget your dollar signs. And when you do it in your go formative, I put dollar signs in there. So your answer better have dollar signs or you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be sad because we're talking about dollars. We're not just talking about random numbers. We are talking about dollars. Okay. So your final answer would be $19.98. Okay. When you type it in in go formative, they're going to ask you about your, um, amount of tax so it should be a dollar forty eight so put that dollar in there and then it's gonna ask you about total it's gonna be nineteen ninety eight and put that dollar in there okay so y'all weren't even born in nineteen ninety eight I was a junior in high school Ugh, I'm getting old y'all getting old okay we're gonna do the same thing with the book now we've got the twelve dollars we're still gonna multiply by eight percent but remember we're not multiplying by eight we're multiplying by the decimal that represents 8%, which is 0 0.08.
So we're going to multiply by point zero 0.08. Now, I'm not going to put the point zero zero after the 12. I don't need it. That's just extra numbers to deal with. I'm only going to worry about the 12. So then I only have two digits to worry about. So I'm going to multiply the 12 by point zero 0.08. So I'm going to do 12 times 0 0.08, and that is going to give me 96 cents, okay? I put my dollar sign there, and I put 0 0.96. That way you don't lose the decimal. Sometimes if you leave the zero off, we forget there's a decimal there, and then we have issues, because then it looks like $96, and it's just 96 cents. So then my total is I'm going to take that $12 and I'm going to add the 0 0.96 and that's going to give me $12.96. So the book cost me $12.96. Okay? So that's what you're doing for these problems. So when you go to your Go Formative page, you're going to finish these two, so the art set and the candle. And then you're also going to do number two. You are not going to do number three. I have omitted it here, and I did not put a number on it for you on there. Because I, I omitted it after I had uploaded it to the program. So I just didn't put a number on it. But you're not going to do that because it causes you to have to do an algebraic equation, and we're not there yet. So... We are not going to do that, all right? So after you finish your Go Formative assignment, so you're going to finish these two and you have this one, then you're going to do your MOL for the day. See, we're going shopping. Sales tax, shopping. Okay, so that's what you have for today. Okay, and then tomorrow we are going to start talking about income tax. That money you have to pay on your paycheck. Take money everywhere, don't they? All right. So, now that we have done a few of these together, you need to go to your go your um the, go to Google Classroom and you are looking for sales tax. Yuck. Okay? And that is what you are looking for and you will finish um, this, this, these two, you have three problems to finish for classwork. That is it. And you should automatically get these two right. Because we just did them together. And then you have your, um, MOL for today. So today's not a, a very long day. Okay. So get that finished and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.